got a sweetie known as Susie. In the words of Shakespeare, she's a wow. Though all of you may know her too, I'd like to shout right now. If you knew Susie like I know Susie, oh, oh, what a girl. There's none so classy as this fair lassie. Oh, holy Moses, what a chassis. We went riding, she didn't bark. Back from Yonkers, I'm the one that had to walk in. You knew Susie like I know Susie. Oh, what a girl. Susie has a perfect reputation. No one ever saw her on a spree. Nobody knows where Susie goes. Nobody knows but me. If you knew Susie like I know Susie, oh, 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 what a girl. She wears long tresses and nice tight dresses. Oh, what a future she possesses out in public. How she can yawn in a parlor. You would think the war was on it. You knew Susie like I know Susie. This is a really fun song, and uh, it's been in my file of to-dos. I was going through my um, computer file to see what songs I had worked on and not finished, and this is one of them. And uh, I pulled it up, and it was mostly done, and I started playing it, and I realized it was because it was too low for me. And so I transposed it from C into G, and then, uh, you know, hindsight is always uh, better. And so I actually went on YouTube and searched if you knew Susie with ukulele. And Yuki Society, uh, Alan, he has a version of this, and it's in the key of C. And I may have actually taken his version in the key of C and put it in my file and never understood why it didn't quite suit me. But uh, Alan has a really nice bass baritone range, and I have more of a baritone tenor range. And the C key of C was just too low for me. And so when I transposed it into G, it seemed to fit me better. I'll put up a link underneath this video so it'll link up with Alan's uh, version and he's got it all typed out with the C chords on it and so you can get it there if you want it if you like it better and see if your range is not the same as mine. Uh, a couple little playing tips I'd like to give on this one though is that, um, and I have it noted on the uh, cheat sheet, that the chord B minor 7 and D6 are the same. Remember your open chords are A minor 7 and C6 and as we fret this up, uh, you still have two chord names. So on my sheet it will say a B minor 7 and there will be a D6. It's it's all theory, music theory stuff, um, why it's they changed the names, but it's the same chord. B minor 7 and D6. But in a couple places where we do this, it's really kind of a nice transition because um, in the one line, in the third line down where it says, though all of you may know her too, I'd like to shout right now. And in the, in the second verse, it's uh, nobody knows where Susie goes, nobody knows but me. Uh, that's when I changed into more the four fretted finger playing was in that second verse. And so if you go nobody knows, which you probably know how to bar that because it's a B minor, which is four, two, two, two. Then you're going to go to a B minor 7 with that is just lifting up that so it's 2 2 2 2 and then you're going to go to an E7 which if you bar at the 4th fret and play a C7 shape down here would be a C7 so we're going to go up to the 4th fret and if you listen to C7 listen to this E7 you can hear them related okay so then from that E7, you're going to go to D, and this might, might seem real complicated, but it's not. You're going to bar at the 5th fret and make that A shape. Because you've got an A, you've got a B flat, you've got a B, you've got a C, a C sharp, and a D. So now you went from a B minor, a B minor to a B minor 7 to an E7 to a D. And the next chord then is, let me see here, where am I? Uh, is a A7, which you can either play in an F7 shape here, 
or you can play it down here in a, it's kind of a G7 shape. But you'll be up here at an F7 shape of the 5th fret. And then the next chord is a D7, which if you barred at the 5th fret, and play that A7 shape. There's a D7. So the second time through, what I did was, Nobody knows where Susie goes. Nobody knows but me. So all I did was climb that fretboard with different shapes but playing the same chords. And this is a fun one to practice on. But in the meantime, it's a really fun one to practice with just open chords. I have got a sweetie known as Susie. In the words of Shakespeare, using that Hawaiian D7. Shakespeare, she's a wild. But here you're already going to a bar chord at that B minor. Though all of you may know her too. I'd like to shout right now. I'd like to shout, have fun with the song and uh, check out Yuki Society's v uh, version. Uh, his great uncle actually covered it with his band that he had and he kind of shows you a little bit about that on his video. It's a fun video. And uh, if you don't know Yuki Society, you should. Uh, he's a really fun player and very creative in his videos. So have fun with the song. Check out the song sheet at yukistabrown.com. Check out the link underneath this video for Yuki Society's version. And have fun with uh, getting to know Susie.